We have a difficulty scale that um, we've seen go as high as six. I don't think we've seen anything higher than six in this tournament so far, uh, but uh, this one is a tier six model. Uh, that difficulty is based on a few different factors. Uh, primarily, it's based on how many features one would use to complete the model. Uh, but there are some other factors in there too. Is there like any tricky? While we're setting up this match for 55, you can see here that our runner Imants is skipping lectures to compete in this tournament. Now that is dedication. That's the kind of dedication that I like to see. Skipping lectures to compete in this tournament. That's what's up. So good job to Imants. Congratulations. Don't let you, any of your professors know, but you know, I'm on board with it. I think it's a great idea. And we also see here that Dom is good at building, breaking, and fixing things. And that is, I think, the true sign of an engineer. So here we go. This very first matchup in our final four, featuring Imants using On Shape and Dom using SolidWorks, begins in three, two, one. Go! What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus three grams. Look at this part. It's called offset bracket 20. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture. If you're playing along with from home, grab a screen capture, but I don't want to miss any of the action. So we can see that Imats on the left running on shape started out with a circle. I guess he's gonna be creating that circle that's kind of up at the top of this thing, trying to come down at an angle to create this, uh, this bracket, this curved bracket. We see the Dom on the right is starting out a, from a different location. He's starting out with the base plate. I'm not trying to play favorites here, but I think I would have started it the same way that Dom started it. I would have started out with that base plate kind of capturing the footprint, capturing how this thing is going to mount into the rest of the design. We see that both of our runners are utilizing a technique where they're kind of laying out all the geometry and then they're going to they're going to use shared sketches, you know, one sketch over and over and over again to drive multiple features and uh, uh, both of the CAD systems that we're seeing today can utilize that that functionality. You can start out with one sketch that captures, you know, everything that you might see in the front view on the drawing. We see that Amats uh, has, you know, has already created that geometry to help him with that center, uh, center support structure, but he does not have that curve along the bottom of the base, and Dom already has that curve. So now we see Dom on the right going through, picking that sketch, and using the same sketch over and over again for different features. A very powerful technique that you can use in, in 3D CAD and a lot of different 3D CAD systems. We're seeing it here today in both Onshape and in SolidWorks. And both of these runners are neck and neck. Look at this feature creation tree. They both have three features in the tree, or I'm sorry, Imants has three features in the tree. Dom has two features. He's just finishing up that third feature. There we go. Both have three features in the tree. Both have the same three features already created. Dom going in there and creating the uh, that um, counter bore that's up at the upper section of this part. Imant on the left now going through and creating that curved section down at the bottom of his part. And wow, these runners are really, uh, really, really close here. I'm just getting, making sure that I've got my, my information ready here for when they come in with their answers. And so now we see uh, Dom on the right taking an approach where he's sketching out that kind of cent central support. I don't know why I'm trying to obfuscate. I mean, it's a rib, right, guys? I, I, I can say rib. I'm not giving away too much if I say that. I'm, I keep trying to dance around that word so as to not give anything away. But this is the final four. These guys know, you know, when to use a rib and when to use an extrude. They can kind of make that decision, so... Looks like Dom is trying to create that rib uh, by drawing it from the front view, where we see that Imants is more taking a, an approach where he's created the plane going down through the center of that rib, and then he's going to be um, creating the the more like the profile going up through. So, 
Good luck to our runners. Yeah, I'm, I I will try and, uh, you know, pay some attention to the chat as well here as we go through. But I just want to make sure that I give these guys their, their due attention. These guys really worked hard to get to this point in the tournament. And frankly, it's it's a pleasure to watch them. It's a lot of fun to watch them. It's really interesting to see the way the, the mind works in these different CAD experts. We see uh, Imants there on the left has created that, that rib. Uh, nice work uh, getting to that point. We'll see if he's happy with that. We see Dom on the right uh, going through and trying to figure out how he's going to kind of merge that off, clean that up. Uh, looks like he he maybe has already created the, the bulk of the rib, and now he's going to try and just create um, a cut extrude to kind of clean up that rib. So very, very interesting from both of our runners here. A real pleasure to be able to call the action with these guys. We see Amants now moving on to the holes that are uh, in the top of this this model, looking down to kind of mount this thing. It looks like it's got it's got. There's probably a, a slot in this part uh, on the top there to help with alignment. That's probably that's something common that you'll see in like um, jigs and fixturing, where they'll include a slot just to kind of get you close, um, especially if you, if you're mounting this thing into a spot where you don't really have a clear line of sight. So that's probably what that slot in the center is for. And then there's a couple of counter bores to really properly attach the hardware. So pretty interesting feature here. Definitely something that I've seen in the real world of uh, mechanical engineering. We see Dom on the on the right uh, trying to figure out how he's going to handle this, uh, this rib. I think that it looks like he's got it now. He was wrestling with it there for a little bit, but it looks like he's uh, he's got a grip on this thing now. Just trying to figure out where to put in those dimensions. We have a difficulty scale that um, we've seen go as high as six. I don't think we've seen anything higher than six in this tournament so far. Uh, but uh, this one is a tier six model. Uh, that difficulty is based on a few different factors. Uh, primarily, it's based on how many features one would use to complete the model. Uh, but there are some other factors in there too. Is there like any tricky angles? Is there any spots where you might need to use like uh, replace face or delete face, something like that? Those are gonna factor in as well, but this is a tier six model. We see in the chat, Airwick says, I think I got it. That's a good That's a good way to announce. If you think you got the answer, that's fine. That's a great way to flex. If you're modeling it at home uh, and you, you, know, you wanna see if you're as fast as these guys, you could say, yeah, I think I got it too. Just don't put in the actual answer. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is really up to these two guys to come up with the answer and put that answer in the chat. So we'll find out in just a few minutes if Airwick did, in fact, get it. And then, of course, we're going to see Airwick in the second group of matchings in today's semifinals. So good, uh, you know, good, good when you end up landing on that second bracket, you get a little bit of extra time. Crispy Co in the chat under the name Fully Defined says, I think I got it. Just a warm up, Airwick. And we see, it looks like we might be seeing an answer coming in here from Imants. Imants comes in with his first answer. Three, zero, four, five grams. And that is correct. Wow. That was fast. Man, Imants, well done, well done. Guys, give it up in the chat for Imants. GG to Imants. That was really, really nice. Very efficient use of modeling. Very clever how you came up with that location for that plane. Great job modeling that rib right down the side. Uh, very, very nice. You saw Dom on the right struggled a little bit with that rib, and I think most of us would have struggled with that rib. I personally struggled with it when I was trying to create this model. Uh, so I totally understand where that struggle comes from. It's a tricky rib coming down at an angle. It's got kind of a tr tricky merge down to the front.